Even as Russia and Ukraine continue to be at war with each other, Russia seems to have intensified its quest to increase its influence in Africa. All of a sudden, it is now back as a geopolitical player on the African continent and Western intelligence services are worried. According to international affairs experts, there's a third wave in Africa of Western powers, China and Russia, scrambling to gain control over Western and Central African nations. The British, the Chinese, the French, the US and Russia, everyone wants to trade with Africa right now. It is in this backdrop on July 26, in Niger, soldiers staged a coup detaining President Mohamed Bazoum at his home in the capital. General Abdul Rahman Etiani, the commander of Niger's presidential guard, claimed that he has become the leader of the West African country in a televised address. The United States and other Western nations have strongly condemned the coup and a bloc of Western African countries threatened to intervene militarily. Burkina Faso, Mali and Guinea have declared their support to Niger and warned against foreign intervention, stating that it would be considered a declaration of war. This new development is significant as it marks the latest in a series of recent coups across Africa as nine countries in the western and central regions have had military takeovers in the past three years. Notably, five of these countries are former French colonies. One of the reasons why these coups are happening in former French colonies can be traced back to the Cold War era. After the Cold War ended, Western countries, especially the US and France, advocated for a neoliberal democratic program in Africa. They promised to liberate the continent from military coups and authoritarian rule and promoted political pluralism and the rule of law. However, the reality on the ground turned out to be different. France was accused of perpetuating neo-colonial practices and for continuing to exert control over its former colonies, triggering widespread resentment against Paris. For instance, France had established the CFA franc monetary system, a currency in 14 West African countries, including Niger, after they gained independence. As a part of this system, these nations had to store about 50% of their foreign currency reserves in the French treasury, with the currency being pegged to the euro. While Paris claims the system promotes economic stability, others say it allows France to exert control over the economy of the countries using it. France, which relies on nuclear energy for about 70% of its electricity needs, needs uranium to power its nuclear plants. And where does it get its uranium from? Niger, which however remains the world's third poorest country. Niger, a vast landlocked country, is known as one of the largest uranium producers globally. In 2019, Niger mined around 3,70,000 tons of uranium, out of which only about 10 kg went to Canada and Romania. France secured the remaining. Now, the coup in Niger has importantly deprived Western nations, particularly France and the United States, of a key ally in a troubled region. The wave of anger against the French and its former colonies in Africa, however, presents a big opportunity for Russia to extend its influence across the continent, say international affairs experts. And this was evident when Russia went all out to woo African leaders at the Russia-Africa summit held last month. Russia is now clearly in the race to try to extend its strategic influence in Africa to counter what it calls Western hegemony, but whether it will succeed is another matter. But it helps that the region is in turmoil as African military leaders stage coups and stay in power using anti-French sentiment. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.